वेलकम टू आर पी एस ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज सेशन टू फॉर द चैप्टर कंबशन एंड फ्लेम इन टूडे सेशन वी विल स्टडी द कंडीशन नेसेसरी फॉर कंबशन टू अकर एंड सम जनरल मेथड्स फॉर कंट्रोलिंग फायर देर आर थ्री कंडीशन नेसेसरी फॉर कंबशन टू अकर नेमली presence of a combustible substance attainment of ignition temperature and presence of air or oxygen let us discuss each in detail in order to start combustion we need a substance that can react with oxygen to release energy in the form of heat and light such substances are called combustible substances fire cannot be started in the absence of a combustible substance which may be in solid liquid or gaseous state does a piece of paper kept on a table starts burning on its own no paper kept on a table does not burn on its own any combustible substance catches fire only when it attains a certain temperature called ignition temperature ignition temperature is the minimum temperature at which a substance catches fire any combustible substance has to be heated to its ignition temperature so that it can start burning a substance cannot burn if it does not attain its ignition temperature in order to burn a paper we keep paper on flame that results in the transfer of heat to the paper this exchange of heat results in the increase in temperature and so paper attains its ignition temperature and starts burning certain substances catch fire easily while others take time to burn this is because they have different ignition temperatures Ignition temperature of some combustible substances are shown in the table given below. Substances which have very low ignition temperature and can easily catch fire with a flame are called inflammable substances. LPG, petrol, propane and magnesium are some examples of inflammable substances. combustion cannot occur in the absence of air as it involves the reaction of a substance with oxygen to release heat energy let us perform an activity to show that air is necessary for combustion to take place in order to perform the activity you will require a table two candles a glass jar and a matchbox fix the candles on a table and light them with the help of a burning matchstick cover one of them with a glass jar and watch for some time the candle covered with the glass jar gets extinguished after some time while the uncovered candle continues to burn the uncovered candle continues to burn as it gets sufficient supply of oxygen from the air on the other hand the candle covered with the glass jar gets a little amount of oxygen inside the jar when the air present inside the jar is used up the candle goes off hence it shows that air is necessary for combustion to take place fire is useful to us but it can be destructive too fire hazards results in the death of many people every year it also causes loss of property worth billions forest fire is also responsible for the loss of biodiversity the three conditions necessary for combustion to occur namely presence of combustible substance attainment of ignition temperature and presence of oxygen can be represented as a fire triangle 
combustion cannot occur in absence of any of these factors. In order to control or fight fire, either one or more of the following would be helpful. Removing the combustible substance, cutting off the supply of air, cooling down combustible substance below its ignition temperature. To control accidents due to fire, we need to know the ways by which fire can be controlled in the early stage. So let's discuss some common methods of controlling fire. Water is the most commonly used fire extinguisher. Water extinguishes fire in the following ways. It removes heat from the combustible substance and brings down the temperature of the combustible substance below its ignition temperature. Due to heating of water, water vapor are formed. These water vapor surround the combustible substance and cuts off the supply of oxygen. Let us perform an activity to show that water controls fire. In order to perform the activity, you will require water, paper cup, a pair of tongs and a burner. Take some water in a paper cup. Heat it over a flame as shown in the picture. Does the water get heated up? Does the paper cup catch fire? The paper cup does not catch fire because the water in the cup takes the heat and keeps the temperature of the paper below its ignition temperature. Can we use water to extinguish fire involving electrical appliances? No, we cannot use water in such cases because water is a good conductor of electricity. So, if water is poured over fire involving electrical appliances, then water could conduct electricity causing the person trying to extinguish fire to experience an electric shock. This could be lethal. Can we use water to extinguish fire involving inflammable substances such as petrol? No, water should not be used to extinguish fire involving petrol because water is heavier than petrol. So. Petrol keeps floating over the surface of the water and continues to burn. Also, pouring water can cause the oil to splash and spread the fire. So, what is the most suitable substance for putting out fire involving electrical equipment and inflammable substances such as petrol? The answer to this question is Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a non inflammable gas and is used in carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. In a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher, carbon dioxide is stored under high pressure in the form of a liquid. Carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, so when it is released through the nozzle, carbon dioxide gas forms a blanket around fire. This cuts off the oxygen supply. Also, CO2 gas has a temperature of minus 66 degrees Celsius and cools down the combustible substance below its ignition temperature and hence puts off the fire. Another method of Controlling fire is using a blanket. In case a person's clothes catch fire, we must wrap a blanket immediately around the person's body and help him or her to roll over the ground. The blanket breaks the fire triangle by cutting the supply of oxygen and puts off the fire. You should try to control fire on your own only when it is in the early stage. If it continues to spread, immediately call fire brigade. In case of fire emergency, 
you should call 101 which is fire emergency helpline number or 112 which is national emergency number for all kinds of emergencies. That was all for today's class. Thank you.